In this lesson, we will discuss random sampling, how random sampling works in NumPy. So first of all, you have to import two libraries. First is import NumPy as NP and then second is import random. If you want, if you want to give some name just like as ran or whatever or as ND, you can do it. But normally we do not give some name to random function. That is why we will use random. But you have to import NumPy numpy as np i'm going to execute it so it is executed successfully my first syntax is by using the np numpy dot random dot random and then in parenthesis i said one what is the meaning of this syntax i will run and show you see here we have 1d array and the value of this random function lies between 0 to 1 that is why it is 0 0.011010 I'm going to execute one more time you will see because we are using random function so each time when you will execute it the value of this 1d array will change similarly if you want you can use np.random.rand instead of random you can write down rand as well so what is the difference between between this and this I will show you here I said 1 here I said 4 so it means I need four different values which lies between 0 to 1 right and similarly if you want you can write down 6 here so you will have six different values between 0 to 1 and the output is in the form of 1d array now if you want the output in the form of 2d array here you said you need four values but the output should be in 2d array then you have to specify two values here or two argument here in the tuple when i will execute it see the matrix is 2 by 2 and this is the 2d array all values lies between 0 to 1 right if you want you can change it try and change it here see if i will make it 5 by 4 and then execute it so we have five different rows and four columns and the values lies between 0 to 1. Now if you say that I need a 2d array but the values should be integer right so what you have to do here again two parameters I need the values from 1 to 5 I said 6 is exclusive when I will execute it so randomly it will pick C2 here 2 here right if I will execute one more time again 2 it is random so it is 3 right so randomly it will pick the values between 1 to 5 and it is in the form of integer. Now here in this syntax, if you want a matrix as well, the values and the matrix, so you have to provide tuple here. I said 4 by 6 means there should be 4 rows and 6 columns and the values will be, I will change this parameter, make it 7 between 1 to 6 because 7 is exclusive. So I will execute it. So see we have a 2D array. Here we have a values only in the form of integers, random values every time you will run. But here we have the matrix as well, 2D array. And then the random values between 1 to 6. I am going to run it one more time. So see here the values changes. Every time the value will change but re range will remain the same between 1 to 6 right i will show you if you want the 2d array of 4 by 4 so execute it and see here right okay now is if you want the output in the form of nd array so everything is same between this and this syntax only you have to add one more parameter for 3d array or nd array see now we have this matrix start from 3 square bracket it means it is nd or 3d 3d i can change this parameter and execute it and will you will see now we have 4 by 6 matrix and this is the nd array now the question arises every time every time we will run this nd array the values of the matrix will change see one more time every time it will change now if you want to say that i want to keep the value same so yes you can do it we have a function seat function there np dot random dot seat and in here in parenthesis i have mentioned 15 here i have mentioned 
10 but whatever you want 1 2 3 4 whatever value you can provide to give provide to this seed function here i said 15 and then everything is same np dot random dot rent int i need the values in the form of integer and this is the nd array when i will execute it so see this is the nd array i will execute second time i will execute third time every time you will get the same output here without the seed function because we are using random function every time it will change so then i said seed is equal to 10 when i will execute it see 251 this is the different combination this is the different combination so you can save in future suppose again you want to see seed 15 combination so run it and you will get the same output 151544c here this one and if you want to use 10 it will give you a different combination right but if you will run this 100 times 100 times you will get the same output so how many how many values seed can accept seed can accept 2 raised to power 32 minus 1 if i will run it so this big value you can give to seed right starting from 1 to 429 and so on whatever you want it will give you different combination of the matrices then is here i have show one more time that with the help of rand and he, this is the 1d array this is the 2d array if you want to add one more uh, parameter then you will have nd array right but here i will show you it is rand and this is rand n what is the difference between rand and rand n rand n means negative values it will give you the negative values as well right so this one these are the values between 0 to 1 if you want the integer value then you have to add only int here right rand int and then is the choice function this is my list np dot random dot choice every time you will run this it will give you the different values sometimes same sometimes different he see here seven so it will pick the values choice and then if you want to get your answer in the form of permutation which we had discussed in statistics so you have to use permutation of list one when i will run it so it will give you the different value see here six seven nine two eight when i will run one more time it will give you different combination third time it will give you different combination and so on so i hope that random sampling is clear to you please practice it see you in the next lesson and thank you